Welcome to a day in our life in our Montessori home with two under two. My daughter just turned one month old and my son is 22 months right now. Um, so we're gonna share our day. Um, it starts by my daughter waking up. Um, and we have some cuddles and nurse and then I do some work um, while she sleeps again. I have her next to me in a sidecar bassinet um, attached to my bed. Generally at this point, she's waking up a couple times at night and then she wakes up at around 4.30 or 5 and that's when I get up for the day um, and have my coffee and start getting some work done. With a busy toddler around all day, I just love this quiet time in the morning with her. My son usually wakes up for the day sometime around 7, sometimes a bit earlier, sometimes a bit later. He's on a floor bed um, and my husband will go and support him throughout the night there as needed, um, but he's in a floor bed in his room at this point. Um, so he wakes up for the day sometime around then and starts to get ready. And then once he's ready, he comes um, and sees Maggie. The first thing he says in the morning is always, see baby sister, or see Maggie. He's always so excited to see her in the morning. Mama. After some morning cuddles, we make Where breakfast we together. Bed. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'll get it started for you. There you go. Pear. Yeah, pears are next. I'm going to get them ready. Um, let's see. I'm going to wash them and prepare them. This day we actually had an overnight French toast bake um, that we just had to pop in the oven, but we made some roasted fruit to put on top. We would like to do roasted bananas and pears. We do this for our oatmeal, but we also did it for French toast this day. Um, so that's really a classic in our home. He likes to cut the bananas and cut the pears and really yeah. prepare them. We love this task in the morning because at this point he can really do the bananas and pears pretty independently. He's been doing this for many months at this point. Um, I don't exactly remember when we started. We started with him doing it with his wooden cutter, then his crinkle cutter. Now he uses these knives, but he's gotten very self-sufficient on that. So I'm obviously here supervising, um, but he's really able to do those parts pretty independently now. We just roast fruit with some butter and some spices. We put on some cinnamon and pumpkin spice. Now we're emptying the dishwasher together. This is one of his favorite tasks and honestly now one of my favorite tasks to do with him. Um, bending down is so much more challenging baby wearing so it's really fun and really helpful that he likes to grab them and hand them to me. Um, more Tupperware. Whose Tupperware is this? Can you bring that one to your kitchen too? We've been emptying the dishwasher for almost a year now really um, and he loves doing it. He really enjoys um, doing this. We do a lot of language in it where he's learned a lot of these words um, and overall this is just a great activity um, for our mornings. At first, he was not emptying all of the um, breakables. We started with just silverware, but as he's gotten older and gotten more capable with that, we've been doing the whole dishwasher together, except for the sharp knives, which I take out at first. Bring it over to the kitchen. We keep his dishes in his little kitchen so he has easy access to them. So over there, he will put away his plates and then also sort his silverware. This little kitchen is a DIY um, IKEA one, so I will link the video where I talk about that. Above. I mean, you can check that out. Since he has access to his silverware and his plates, he also sets a table by going to get um, all of that from his little kitchen. What else do you think you might need? No, no, oh, 
Nice. Nice. And what else, Maggie? Do you need? Fork. Fork. Do you want to grab a fork too? No. Oh, you're gonna come back for it. We use this little placemat that shows him where to put all the silverware, so that's gotten him really good at setting the table, um, which has been really cool to watch that he just puts them on the right plate, spots. And he also knows what to get because yeah, he sees them on his placemat. Yeah, I'm the pears, bananas, and French toast all baked in the oven. Um, so then we sat down and ate once they were ready. My newborn is generally on my lap during this time. Yeah. All done. Breakfast all done, that's right. He brings his plate to the dishwasher um, and then we clean up and get ready for the day. He chooses his clothes. That one. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Can you get the pants that go with dinosaurs? Yeah, those pants go with the dinosaurs. Okay, let's get dressed. Well, I nurse, he plays a bit. Um, this doesn't always happen. Often he's climbing on me or wanting me to read him a book while I nurse. Um, and sometimes he'll go to his shelf in the living room and go play a bit while I nurse her, um, or we'll play some sort of game together. Then we get her ready for the day and um, get her all dressed. It's safe to say he's pretty obsessed with her and wants to hold her all the time. Then we get ready to head outside. I generally find the transition to going somewhere the hardest part of our day. What shoes do you want to wear? Panda. Hmm, where are panda? Oh, there are pandas. Okay. No panda. No panda. Okay, okay come sit on your chair. Yeah, I see you both in the mirror. Okay. Ready, babe? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're gonna coat flip, right? Let's coat flip. There you go. All right, let's head out. You can, you can climb into the stroller, okay? He just loves pushing the elevator button. We head out and he generally rides in a stroller and she rides in a carrier um, while we get See to See golf park. carts? Okay, let's go find golf carts. His favorite activity on our walks is looking for golf carts. Oh, what do you think about? Dog. Dog, yeah. Another dog. Another dog? Oh yeah, I see Two dogs. Two dogs? Two dogs. Whoa, that's a big rock. That's a big rock, isn't it? So funny. Middle rock. Tiny little rock. We get back from our walk and it's already time to get lunch ready. Sometimes it feels like we spend a lot of time cooking and eating with a toddler, uh, but we love it.
We're making scrambled eggs for lunch today. Sometimes we have leftovers for lunch. I'd say leftovers are our most common, but if we're not having leftovers, we're often doing some sort of egg dish. With any food preparation, I try to find ways to involve him. So instead of just pouring the milk, for example, I pour it into a pitcher and let him pour it. And he likes to whisk, and here we're adding some thyme to the eggs, and he hasn't really done this before, but I'm having him um, get to be part of that, and he's pulling off leaves as well. Um, so in all of these things, I just try to think of any way that I can include him in making the meal. Shake some pepper in. Tops off. Thank you. Now, salt. Sweetie, you're awake. We eat and clean up from lunch. He likes to bring his plate to the dishwasher. He's definitely in a do-it-myself stage. He really likes to do things himself. So I like to wait until he's asking for help. And then I give a little bit of help, um, as little as necessary, to sort of keep him going. So here I just open the latch and he's able to um, fully put it away and he problem solves with the plate underneath and all of that and it's just something that I find makes our day so much smoother if I really let him um, do things himself when possible and wait for him to ask for help. After lunch is nap time but he wanted to read a book so we read a book first. Prickly cacti. We went there bug remember? You were little. You were just a little bit bigger than Margalita's now. For nap time, I come and lie with him. Sometimes I have Margalita in the carrier, and sometimes my husband, who works from home, will have her in the carrier if she's calm, um, while I lie with him and he falls Sweetie. asleep. I don't use a pillow on his bed. That's just when I'm lying there with him, and I take it off before leaving. During nap time, I get work done for Instagram, my blog, YouTube, etc. And she contact apps on me, which I just love. Mm -hmm. And then he comes and wakes up and he's always so eager to see his little sister. Hi, Jessica. You woke up. Maggie. Maggie, say to see Maggie. She's sleeping right now. You wanna come over here and cuddle? After lunch, we made baby Chino. This is a special time that we implemented after we got back from a trip in early December. Um, it's, it's foamed milk with some spices on top. And it's something he loves, and we have a little meeting together where we read books and we really connect um, during that time. But um, we some used to do it in the morning. Um, since she was born, it's been a little bit more chaotic of when exactly we do it. Um, so in this case, this was in the afternoon, um, but as I said, it really depends. So sometimes it's in the morning, sometimes it's in the afternoon. But we try to make time for this each day. Oh, good stuff. Can you see that? Hey. 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 Remember, we're out of cinnamon. Do you want to add some cardamom? Want to add this? Want to add that? Where's the cinnamon? Where's the cinnamon? Full. Yeah, it's full. We have to walk slowly, don't we? Yeah. The mug is full.
So during this time, we read books, we go over our day, and it's just a special time to connect. But nothing happened. Duck. Filled her boots with truck a truckload of rocks. The boots got heavy. They didn't get bigger. Again. Again? After we clean up from baby Chino, we go into his room and he plays with some toys off the shelf. Um, he discovered this puzzle today, actually, and he loves it so, so much. While he plays, I usually like to stay present. Um, so when he looks to me and he wants to chat, I'm there to talk and do some language work with him. Um, sometimes I'll read a book or do something like that. Other times I do sort of tidy up and clean while he's playing. Um, it really just depends on the time. We have leftovers ready for dinner tonight, so we didn't have to cook. Um, but instead, we went to the store to pick up a few things that we needed for other meals. Um, so we head there. When we get back, he loves unloading Mom, groceries from you know the store. Right. Right. Those are awesome. 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 Those are Thank you, man. We had some special foods on it? the table this time um, for the Jewish holiday peanut to be curry, shot, yeah. but otherwise curry, we had a peanut curry. Do you see what else rice. is next to the peanut curry? Rice with peanut curry. After dinner, my husband does bath time with my toddler, and I either wear um, my newborn or she plays while I clean up the kitchen. What did you do in bath time? Swim. You swam in bath time? Yeah. Yeah? What did you have in your bath bug? Oh, bowels. Oh, bowels. Bath really kicks off our bedtime routine, and so then we brush teeth yeah. after that. I did too. You want me to brush my teeth too? Yeah. I'm gonna brush mine a little later, okay? What's on your toothbrush? Yellow. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Dots. Dots, yeah. Dots. Dots. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. Okay, open wide. Raw! Roar! Ah, I got lion. I got like a shh. Okay. How is it? I'm queen. Sometimes he'll do quiet play for just a few minutes before bedtime, sometimes not. And this is generally not any more than a few minutes, um, but we'll let him do that once or twice sometimes. Oh, we're gonna have bedtime now, babe. Went to see. Listen. In a be you Then we read books together. We always read The Owl and the Pussycat. I'm in um, a couple other books. Little. For Leah. Okay. Read copy. Want me to read the copyright? Okay. Illustrations copyright. The Owl and the Pussycat went to see in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of Mommy. money wrapped up in a cloud boot. I found no. Then we do the prayers. I lie with him as he falls asleep. Above. I tell him about what we did all day. Um, and then we listen to a story on the phone. Once he's asleep, we usually watch TV and she sleeps on me or just rests on me. Um, and then she goes to bed pretty late now as a newborn. Thank you so much for joining our day in life. Um, stay tuned for more of these. I'm hoping to do another one when he's 24 months and she's three months.